Today, we are going to be revisiting a subject that I talked about, oh, probably a few years ago, and that is, what is the best steel for bushcrafting? Now, admittedly, I probably should have gone to this earlier because this has been my choice for quite some time, but today we are going to be taking a look at CPMS 35VN and why I think this may be one of the best bushcrafting steels you can get. On the subject matter of bushcrafting steels, bushcrafting knives, just like anything, opinions change and you know I once held that 5160 was one of the best or was the best steel. Now I want to make this a little bit better video by saying that no longer am I just going to be saying a carte blanc uh, this is the best steel but I do think CPMS 35 VN is one of the best steels and that's what we're going to be talking about today and for the representation of CPMS 35 VN will be the good old Chris Reeve knives Pacific. So let's talk about it. So why do I think that this steel is one of the best steels out there for bushcrafting? That's pretty simply because of a few reasons. The first one is one that us bushcrafters struggle to find in any good steel, and that is stainlessness or overall rust resistance. This knife performs extremely well, and if you guys see a lot of the pictures I'm gonna be rolling in, this knife serves a lot of time with me on rivers in the water, not in the water per se, but on, on rivers, by rivers, and in the knife itself being in the water. So rust resistance is one of those things that when you spend a lot of time you know, gutting fish and spending time by the water, whether that's lakes, rivers, creeks, streams, your knife is gonna get very wet very fast. And being able to keep it dry can be challenging. So the primary reason that I love CPMS 35 VN is the fact of its amazing rust resistance. This knife here I have had and been using, you know, once again by the water, by rivers, you know for dressing or sorry for gutting fish stuff like that the night or get real focus uh, and you guys can see though it does have a primarily coated finish there is absolutely no rust there's not even any patina on the actual exposed blade or edge of this knife which is very nice so the next reason why I like this knife for bushcrafting is it has a really great edge holding capability. It keeps going and going and going. It has a very good toughness, I found myself. And some people say, especially the way uh, Chris Reeve, you know, does their knives and makes them, they found these knives to be either too brittle or not hard enough. I don't know, maybe I just got a fluke or maybe this is the way they're supposed to be made, but I found the edge retention on the Pacific made out of CPMS 35 VN to be just fine. I mean, it holds an edge forever. I never have to sharpen it. I just drop it every once in a while, which sounds pretty typical of most people, but that's seriously what I do with it. And it is still very sharp and will easily slice, cut, and do all those fun things. Also to mention, there are also no chips or cracks, not even uh, when I do my fingernail test on the blade. I also like the overall toughness. It's of course not as tough as 5160. When you do jump into your stainless steels, you have to give up some of that edge flexibility. However, once again, CPMS 35VN has not been really chipping out or cracking on me. It's just not as flexible or malleable as 5160. So I do think the toughness is pretty good. It's just not as good as 5160, which being a spring steel like 5160 is, it's kind of its claim to fame. So how does this steel hold up to other steels? We've talked about 5160, but there's also 1095 and CPMS, or sorry, CPM 3B. And I've actually used CPM 3B a lot. And my biggest takeaway from CPMS 35BN and once again, why it ends up with me and why I like it is that it's essentially to me a softer version of CPM 3V. I love CPM 3V very much, more than I can really express. It's an excellent, uh, it has excellent edge retention, it has excellent corrosion resistance, 
and it's an overall amazing super steel. However, the problem with 3V that the S35VN doesn't have is the brittleness. 3V is an extremely brittle steel, and I found even just in using it in just standard cutting, slicing, and chopping situations, you can actually get the edge uh, to have micro chips in it. So you definitely want to watch, or so that's why I didn't like 3V. And 1095, another great steel I have a lot of extensive use with, in many of my knives is an amazing steel it's more flexible than this it has a great edge retention probably a little less than the cpms 35 vn but once again you run into that heavy corrosion that can happen with it if you don't take care of it if you don't uh, properly look after the blade or if you don't you know make sure it's dry you don't have some kind of oil substance on it you can easily get rust and patina to form on it so that is some of the reasons or in a nutshell why i've adopted and adapted to cpms 35 vn it has an amazing corrosion resistance like uh, like cpm 3v it has a really great edge retention not quite as much as cpm 3v but it also has a softer uh, it also is softer so that the edge doesn't chip out like 3v so that is why this steel lands so high on the list and why it's one of the best steels you can really get in my opinion especially if you're going to be working around water or rivers creeks streams you know if you're going to be working with fish or water this is going to be an amazing steel for you and you're really going to like it